Well, dealing with a terminal illness is a deeply personal journey, but the issue has been made very public in our state. Tomorrow, the New Mexico Court of Appeals will hear arguments on whether a licensed doctor can assist a very ill person in committing suicide. As the right to die issue began with Asia Riggs, a woman battling stage three cancer with a prognosis that her time to live was limited. But if the cancer is going to kill me, I want the peace of mind of knowing that I have some choice at the very end. The ACLU got behind the case and argued patients like Asia should be able to die with dignity. The ACLU believes doctors should be legally allowed to assist terminally ill patients commit suicide and that the decision be between the doctor and patient. Last January, Bernalillo County Judge Nan Nash rendered this opinion. This court cannot envision a right more fundamental, more private, or more integral to the liberty, safety, and happiness of a New Mexican than the right of a competent, terminally ill patient to choose aid in dying. With that, the doors to physician aid in dying were opened until the New Mexico Attorney General's office appealed, citing important laws like this should be left to the state legislature, not a judge. Tonight, a spokesperson for newly elected AG Hector Balderas sent us this statement, stating, It is the duty of the Attorney General's office to enforce the rule of law in New Mexico, and currently, there is not an assisted suicide exemption in statute. Tomorrow, both sides will argue at the Court of Appeals. While a decision won't be reached tomorrow, the outcome could be historical for New Mexicans. Four states, Oregon, Vermont, Washington, and Montana, have legalized assisted suicide laws.